Okay, so pictured here are the various forms of glutamic acid at various pH ranges, okay? So what we are to do in this problem is to order these forms um, going from a solution of low pH to high pH, okay? So when we have low pH, what does that mean for our solution? A very low pH means our solution is what? Very acidic. Acidic, right? So acidic, we should expect to see what type of charges on our ion? Positive. Positive charges. Or a lack of what other type of charges? Lack of negative. Negative charges, okay? So is there any molecule up there that you see, or any form of this glutamic acid, that has a small number of negative charges relative to a high number of positive charges? D. D, right? D is the most like that. So, in fact, this is the one you'll see at the lowest pH. Okay, so remember our pH curves, right? So what we'll see is something that looks like, or think about is something that looks like this. Okay, so this is the polyprotic acid if you want to think about that. Okay, so when we are increasing our pH, or we're putting hydroxide ions into our solution, Right? What's going to happen when we put hydroxide ions into our solution? It's going to raise the pH. Raise the pH, and what's going to happen to this molecule here? It's going to lose its protons. Lose its protons, okay? So what would we expect going from here to the next form at the next highest pH? We would expect this, except the loss of what? M maybe just the loss of the one proton. One more proton, okay? So let's look for something that has, looks like this, but has lost one proton. Is there anything like that? Mm, I guess, uh, just C. C, yeah. right. And then the next one we should expect to look like C, except what? Lost another proton. Lost another proton. So which one is that? Uh, A. A, definitely. And, of course, B is going to be the one that's found at the highest pH. Why? Because we have the most negative charges relative to positive charges. Okay, so now the second part of the question asked, which is the Zwitter ion? Okay, so do you remember what it means to be Zwitter ion? So it means to have a positive and a negative charge on it. Okay, so which one is that? I guess... C? Yeah, it's going to be C. Okay? So only positive and negative charge to cancel out. Right. Okay? Even so I guess I should have uh, clarified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this here is the, I don't know if we can see that at the top, Twitter Island. So are there any questions on this? Nope. Okay.